everyone, I'm Savannah Polson. This is my page, Bold Beautiful Life. Today I am going to be showing you how I do my makeup and with a green eyeshadow. I think it will be really fun. I did a poll on my Insta stories yesterday and majority of people voted for green eyeshadow. So I am really excited and perfect timing too with holidays coming up and all of that stuff. So. I am going to get started pretty quick just because I am doing my full face and a full eye and I just don't want you to feel like you're sitting around forever waiting for me. Hi everyone! Hi! Hi everyone! I am going to give away a brush collection today. The brushes are like my favorite part of the makeup. They're all double sided and they are really convenient and they are fast and easy to apply, all of that stuff. Hi, hi everyone, thanks for being here live. And so they make makeup application so much better, so much easier, simple, it's blended, and I feel like it makes a huge difference with eyeshadow. So I thought that was a, a good thing to go together with today's uh, eyeshadow look is to give away a brush collection so make sure that you are commenting and engaging and I will choose one of you to win uh, let's also share it out if we can get more than how about 250 shares I'll do two brush collections so let's do that and that'll be really fun okay hopefully I don't sound too crazy I my family has had a cold had colds for weeks and I thought I had dodge that bullet, but of course, mom just always has to get it at the end, right? <laughs> How often do I clean my brushes? I clean them at least every week, and I do have my brush cleaner here with me. You can purchase this from the same link that I posted uh, to shop the products and the brushes. So, they are all, all amazing. And since I have been sick, I have some more extra redness around my nose and dryness. So I'm going to take my Milk Moisturizer. This is also from the same link as above. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that around my nose. So I have oily skin, so I don't usually put moisturizer everywhere before I apply my makeup. But I like to on any places that are going to like grab makeup, be dry. If you have dryness or things like that, you may consider doing that. The brushes are awesome. Yeah, babe. Oh, beautiful picture. My daughter wanted to come in and sit next to me during the video today. So she is coloring right now. Yeah, they are awesome. I totally want to give them away to you guys because I want everyone to have them. <laughs> I am going to use Mascara Beauty products today, and I'm an independent mascara beauty artist, meaning if you wanna try this makeup, you can go directly through me. I will even color match you. I have a link for you in the description for you to be able to click that link and send me a photo of yourself, and I will tell you personally what, what colors I recommend. And Oh my gosh, so much snow. <laughs> I am using Ivy League today, and I'm really, really excited. Awesome, baby. That looks so good. Okay, so Mascara Beauty, amazing because you personalize your compact. A lot of the compact options have two layers to them, and so basically this is my whole face in one compact, and it even has versatility within the compact and room to grow. This size comes free with 10 singles, and... Yeah, there's other sizes too. Would that be a good night cream? It's an incredible night cream. Like, so good. I love it. And I use the milk system, the Trace Leche system for my face. And I've been using it for a year and a half. And I've seen drastic improvement in my skin. I have really sensitive skin, I have oily skin, but I've seen it work for rosacea, for eczema, for mature skin, for dry skin, for oily skin. It's the best and my husband wanted to give away the men's line for our anniversary last weekend but we decided to go and visit friends instead so we still haven't celebrated our anniversary but when we do he wants to do a big giveaway and so keep your eye out for that because that's still coming so we're going to give away the trace light chase line to probably two of you i would say what day am i on my hair i washed my hair two days ago maybe yesterday something like that yeah baby good job so I'm gonna dive in. Okay, here we go. I have been using the B squared brush to apply. 
And if you've watched any of my other videos for like years that I've come on here and done, they, like I always have used the 30 second hack or the detail hack or something, but I'm just like, can't get over the B squared these days. How long have I been selling mascara? I've been selling mascara for two years and I'm obsessed with it. If you wanna join my team, you're totally welcome to. You can message me. And also, Canada, important Canada announcement. Any of you who have been waiting from Canada or know someone who's been waiting from Canada, then I put the links for you in the description here. You can apply because Canada is opening next month, so, or in March. So you can go ahead and apply and I'll notify you right away when that is available. So that's super exciting. Okay, how well does it conceal wrinkles? So I feel like it does amazing, the makeup does amazing for mature skin, but I would recommend, oh, I don't have my perfector sponge with me. Sorry guys, it's like clear in the other room, so I won't run and grab it, but there's a perfector sponge and I, like, I feel like it's almost like a non-negotiable for mature skin. You just need it to make sure that the texture and all of it blends really well with your skin. And I like to use it just anyway. So I recommend the Perfector Sponge for anyone, but that's a must. And it's really beautiful on mature skin because it's a cream. And so it's really light and it moves with your skin and it's, yeah, it's great. And I recommend setting it lightly with the Vanilla Dust setting powder too, so that it doesn't settle or any of that stuff. <laughs> Thanks guys, thanks for being here. Hi Tia. You could rub your face with this all day. Uh, yeah, it's like the softest brush ever, especially once you get the brush cleaner going with it. It makes your brushes even softer and nicer. It's really awesome. <clears throat> I feel like I can't really talk, sorry guys. Okay, so if Amber isn't quite sitting on your skin, so if Amber is looking <clears throat> like this, kind of orangey, then it is a little too dark and you'd wanna go up to something like candle it. And if it's like separating on your skin or it's not covering well, or it's like sitting on top and like kind of rubbing off, then you'd wanna go a little bit darker. You could either go sandy or you could jump down mango, which is what I'm using right now. So mango is like a, quite a bit darker than amber, but I feel like they work really well together, like similar tones. And sandy is like a little more neutral of a tone but kind of in between them for darkness. Cool. Does the makeup look cakey? What if you have dry spots? So that's kind of what I talked about at the very beginning. I have a lot of dryness around my nose right now because I'm sick. So I just put some of the milk moisturizer on and it like is covering really well and it looks awesome. But I would suggest getting on, if you have really dry skin, I would suggest getting on the skincare system, the Trace Lates. My system lasts me about six months, and so it, for me, it's a more affordable option than I was using before, but depending on what you're using now, I don't know. So hopefully that helps. People ask a lot how, how long it lasts, and it lasts me about six months. I don't use a ton of product. I just use what's needed and all of that stuff, so. Thanks, guys. If you're just coming in right now, there is a giveaway on the table. There's potentially two giveaways on the table. If we can get enough shares, then I will give away two brush collections. So make sure that you're commenting, engaging, all of that stuff. Okay, so I put mango on my face, majority of my face today, and that's just because I have some of this tanner on and I have a lot of redness going on just with the weather and with my sickness. So I used the B squared brush to put that all on and now I am going to come in with the detail hack, the small side of the detail hack with my lighter highlight color amber and I am just going to dab this on to create a little bit more coverage and a little bit more dimension, kind of balance out the, the warmth of that mango because it is a little dark for my skin here. So the great thing about mascara foundation is that it has coverage in it while you're adding dimension. So you don't have to do a whole bunch of layers of products to get that extra dimension. I used to wear foundation, concealer, and a contour, highlight and contour palette. And I did all of those steps just to get this one look. What did you say, sweetie? That's so nice. Good job. And I go down my nose. And 
Good job, honey. I didn't seem to hike it bad. Okay, I like to go down my nose right here and add a little on my chin because those are the areas that you're bringing like brightness and you're kind of bringing that focus to the center of your face. And also any areas I need a little extra coverage. I put that there. And then sometimes people will have a different color neck than face. And if that's the case, then you may want to do a, one of the colors that matches your neck the best right here on your jawline. That will really tie the two together a little bit. And trust me, this like camera situation makes my face look way more yellow and orange than it really is in person. So like when I step, oops, step on my stuff. Well, no, it's just really bright light. So anyway, when I take a picture of this after and I'll show you that and then you'll see that it's actually the same color as my neck. Okay, at this point I usually use the perfector sponge and I don't have one with me right now. So I'm just gonna make sure this is dabbed in really well. But the perfector sponge works so much better at this. Okay, there we go. And I don't recommend like touching your face like that uh, because you'll spread around like oils and bacteria and all that stuff. Okay, so next up I am going to set lightly with vanilla dust powder. Since I am oily or if you have texture to your skin or you've added extra coverage. Ooh, I love it. Good job, honey. So I set mine really lightly. You need help with hooded eyes. Yeah, I need to get some hooded eye friends over to do a, a tutorial on them. So usually with hooded eyes, the same concepts, like you can do the same kind of makeup, but you just have to keep in mind that you want your eyelid to stay lighter for the most part, unless you're really trying to deepen your eyes. And then you'll usually have to put the, the crease color above your eye instead of like in your crease. Otherwise it'll just sink your eyes back and you'll lose the color. You won't have that color showing. So that's kind of like the biggest thing with hooded eyes is open your eye up and then apply the color there and you'll know right where you want it. So yeah, they are gold. So many brushes. I think there's six in the brush collection. There's actually eight brushes though. But I don't know if they've updated it since that. Sorry, she's talking to me. Okay, next up, I'm going to do contour. I'm using indigo contour here. And I start with just coming underneath my cheekbones and pressing right here up against my cheekbone. And I just distribute the product there. And I come on the other side. Notice I didn't even re-dip. There's just, I just use the tiniest amount of product possible for the, like, for any look, basically, because you want your product to last a long time, and you honestly don't need a ton of this product if you're using the right colors. So if you're going, if you're blowing through product, you may want to try a different combo of colors, but I'm happy to recommend colors for you, and you can send me your cute face in a photo, and I'll do that. And usually I try and get back within a day or two at most. And so if you haven't heard from me, there's a good chance that your email address was typed in wrong or something like that because that happens a lot. So make sure your email address is right. And if you haven't heard from me in a couple days, then reach back out. Okay, now that I don't have any product on this brush left, I am just blending it out. Just blending those edges. You want to make sure your contour's not getting too big because it will lose that dimension that you're creating. And I know it looks really crazy right now. I love it. It looks really crazy right now, but it will blend like more as I go. So, and if it still looks crazy at the end, I'll just keep blending it. So these products are really, really easy to blend. And that's one thing that I feel like is really, that I really love about it is that you don't have to like, you can just use a little bit blend, add a little bit more, and you don't have all these problems with getting things to like go together. Yay, yeah, the brushes are really versatile, so I'm glad that you like seeing that I'm using different ones because I just want you to know that like 
any everyone's application process will be unique to you so play around until you figure out how it's easiest for you because that will make the experience with this makeup so much better if you can just be like oh this brush makes such a difference for me or you know stuff like that if it's not applying really smoothly and you only have the detail hack brush maybe you need to get a bigger brush to really like buff that on okay I have a little bit of product see tiny bit on the side right there and I'm laying this on the side of my nose just like that and see how much barely any product and then I do this on the other side and it's barely any pressure I'm like hardly even touching my nose like that connect the two together here and then I flip the brush around and I use the side that doesn't have any product on it to just soften that line up. You don't want any harsh lines, you just want some shadows created. And it's really just accentuating the natural shadows of your face, because your face is already perfect exactly how it is. We just want to kind of like enhance it a little bit. My lighting is so intense today, holy cow. I feel like I want to tell you guys, I promise it doesn't look like this harsh, but hopefully the fact that it's like really dimensional will show you exactly where to put it. But, uh, okay. Next up, I actually move right into my eyes. Uh, you can do your face if you want all the way, but I like to just do my foundation and then move. I love those. Okay. Go get daddy. Go tell dad. Sorry, my husband is home. She just wanted to be with me. Okay, so I'm moving into eyeshadows. Here are some of them. I'm going to use this one here called number 33. And then I am going to use some of these illuminators here. I'll show you as I go. And I'm also going to use, not that one. I should have organized my palettes a little better, but here we go. Okay, I'm also going to use this one here. It's like a deep forest green and it's called Ivy League and I'm obsessed with it, so obsessed with it. And I'm gonna use this one here called Blondie and it's like a metallic gold. And I like that, I like to pair metallics with dark colors because they bring so much light, they like pack a punch. And so you never really feel like the whole eye is dark. You can feel like you're adding that dimension. <laughs> yeah, you see my, my little babies in the background. <laughs> okay, I am actually going to move this green from my other palette into this one because that makes more sense, Savannah. So here we go. Here we go, here we go. We are using some bomb colors here. I'm using the new brush. This one's called the Bend and Tap and it's a little bigger then the eyeshadow everything brush it has like basically so this eyeshadow everything brush has this like dense tip and this one has a bigger one and then a flatter one so these are like this tip on steroids and i am going to start with this rounded tip here what about with glasses so i used to wear glasses and i felt like i just did my eye makeup usually like a little lighter than normal like a little softer and less dimension just because it was just so much on your eyes like and you didn't want your eyes to feel darker so that was kind of the only thing that I ever really did differently okay I'll tell you what I don't know if this is in the set yet but I will give away with can you hear my daughter going to the bathroom that's funny I will give away the brush collection and the new brushes. So they'll all be together. Um, if it's not the brush collection already, I will create it into the brush collection. <clears throat> so you'll have all of them. Okay, when I use dark eyeshadow colors, I use the fluffy side of the B Square brush to protect from fallout here. And honestly, our eyeshadows don't create a lot of fallout anyway because they're so pigmented, you just don't have to get very much on the brush. So I am going to do this on my eyelid here. 
and this is the Ivy League. So this one is that deep matte forest green, and I really like it. So that was just one tap into the color, and it did that much. Remember, it will be the darkest where you place the color, and then it'll soften and grow as you blend up and out. So make sure you don't put it down right here if you don't want, like it'll grow from there. Hopefully that makes sense. And I will have to go back and read some of your comments as I'm doing this stuff. <laughs> Thanks, friends. All right, keep in mind, if you do that with your eye, make sure there's no eyeshadow on this when you transfer it to the other eye. Otherwise, you'll give yourself a nice line in case there was some fallout there. Okay, here we go. Right here, place the color where you want it to be. What, baby? Hold on, I can't see right now, but I'll look in a second, okay? Okay, good job, honey. Yes, perfect time for good luck. This and Leo, do it. These are, this and Leo are probably my, well, Philly, obviously, all day, every day, Philly, but are my two favorite new fun colors. I get excited when I get to wear them. I guess I, that makes it sound like I need like permission or something, but I do sometimes feel like you need a situation to wear an eyeshadow combo like I'm going to show you today. You need like a date night or girls night or something like that. Like most days, I don't really have a need for like a full deep smoky greened out eye. But if you do, then I'm jealous. Okay, next up, I am going to switch to the fluffy side of the eyeshadow everything brush because I want a lighter application. That was a very dense application and we are switching to something light. And this is that number 33, which has a more metallic hue to it. And I am using this to blend up on my crease here. I'm taking it a little bit inside there. If you're feeling like your eyes getting darker and darker, then be careful here that this part, see how this part is still light? I haven't put anything there yet, and I actually will go in and brighten that up even more at the end, but you just wanna make sure that you're not getting it so dark in here that you're feeling like your eyes are just sinking and sinking. You still want a dimensional eye. So that's a lighter, and more metallic-y look. I love those two together. I feel like they just blend and bam. And you really don't need a ton of it. So you can see the difference between the two eyes. Just makes it subtle and kind of smoky. Here we go. Tiny bit on my brush. I don't have a lot of product because you can always add more. But especially when you're dealing with darker colors or more pigmented tones, you just want to make sure that you aren't going overboard. They're really hard to come back from, but they're perfect when you apply just the right amount. Any of you who are new and just joining in, welcome. We are doing an eyeshadow, a green eyeshadow tutorial today, and I'm giving away up to two brush collections. We'll see if we get there. If we can hit over 250 shares, then I'll give away two brush collections. And I'll guarantee that it's every one of our brushes because I want you to have all of them because they're all awesome. Okay, there we go. Pretty, right? Okay, who's gonna wear this for real? Who would do this? Oh yeah, it would be so pretty on hazel eyes. I'm like a firm believer though in anyone who has any eye color wants to wear a color, they totally can. I think it's all in how you apply it. And I think it's just like, your confidence behind it as well. Uh, okay, so next up, that is basically like, I'm not even gonna put eyeliner on or anything like that because I feel like that's plenty. So I am going to come underneath my eye and put a tiny bit of Philly because I like the warmth that Philly will bring to this combo. So I'm putting just a tiny bit underneath as my bottom eyeliner 
and I'm using the multitasker brush for this right here and I'm kind of drawing it out and notice how I didn't close my eye to draw it up I like opening my eye to draw things up because then it continues that line so you're lifting your eyes up and out instead of pulling your eyes down so that's always better next up before we go crazy with brightening things up and making a metallic, I am going to come in with my brows and I'm using Coal Eyeshadow and the Know Your Angles brush. And I just fill in this base here. And then I start drawing upward strokes. I like the base of my eye brow to be the heaviest like line. And yeah, do it. Totally do it. Thank you for commenting. You guys are the best. I'll go back and read them as soon as I have a chance. Sometimes it takes me a little bit because I use my non-all-in momming time to actually go live. And so then sometimes it takes me until they're in bed or, you know, something like that to actually get back to the comments. But I really, really appreciate them. I just want you guys to know I'm super grateful for you. And I do look at every single one of your faces and I am so grateful that you trust me with them and that you message me and trust me with my answers. So I'm grateful for you. I try and get back as fast as I can, but I, yeah, but I'm grateful. There's a lot of you, but there, <laughs> but that makes it so that my just, my response time sometimes isn't as quick as I would love for it to be for each of you. But Anyway, thank you is basically what that comes down to. And reach out if you need me. I will get back. All right, here we go. So I flip this brush around and I just kind of brush it out a little bit. And my brows are kind of getting a little bit stronger and stronger <laughs> like every day. Since I have darker hair now, I feel like I go dark with my brows, which makes them like stand out even more. But it's kind of fun. So next up, we are going to put on some bright color. Some of that blondie we talked about. I'm using this small side of the eyeshadow with brush. brush. Those are puppies. You love them? Sure. What would you name it? I want her name it Cutie. Cutie is a good name. All right, I'm taking the blondie and I'm brightening up this inner corner here. And blondie is bright. It's like a metallic. Look at it. I just touch it with my finger. That's the color. It's like a solid gold, which I like. Kind of has a foil effect. Here we go. Right here on the inner corner. I'm going to carry it out a bit. Now I'm going to close my eye and I'm going to blend this in to the other part. And you don't have to do this. If you liked the straight metallic look, you don't have to, or the straight uh, matte look, you don't have to add the metallic to it. I just kind of like how this metallic feeds into that metallic and then this stays deep and matte. I like that dimension, but it's totally up to you. I'm just showing you one option. Mommy. Yes, dear. What picture of this do you like? I like all of them. Oh, guess what one I like? Um, the animals. No. Mommy, no. No? Show me which one you like. This one. All right, so. Ooh, I love that. Oh, that's our family. Okay, so I feel like that, like, bam, brightens it all up, right? And it's like this nice gold. So now I'm going to switch to illuminators. And we have these powder illuminators. They're a little bit like, I wanna say finer than the blondie there. So they go on like a little bit, tiny bit more sheer. And so I feel like this in here, up here would maybe be like a little too much for me. So I switch and do a smaller, like a, an illuminator instead that I can apply really lightly. And so I'm going to use, this one's called Goldie. And I am just- a name of a unicorn. 
Goldie's a name for a unicorn? Uh huh. Good idea. Pinkalicious. Ooh, Pinkalicious is, yeah. So see how it's a little softer? It like, ma it mimics the tone, but it's just a softer coverage. So I like that. The skincare system, oh my gosh, yes. It, no joke, changed my skin like entirely. I've never had skin that was like this beautiful before. Here we go, underneath the eye here. And it just adds that really nice subtle glow. So it's not over the top, it's not crazy, but it's definitely like making a statement. And I like that about it. All right, next up, mascara. I'm gonna use, um, I like the one in the middle. I didn't link this mascara for you guys, but it's the It Cosmetics superhero one. Mm-hmm. Thanks guys. I'm trying to read some of your comments, but if I talk back, I'll ruin my mascara situation. But thank you for your sweet comments. And you can definitely add eyeliner if you want to add some. I just chose not to, but because it's like plenty dark for, for my taste, but if you feel like you're just missing some of that deeper dimension or the green, like the fully committed green all the way down is too much and you'd rather have it be like brown or black along your lash line, then that'll kind of make it more subtle too. Look at that fade, like that blend there. It's pretty. Like I almost feel like it's prettier in real life. Like I looked at it in here, I'm like, ooh, I like that. But in the video, you can only see it like in certain lights. But baby, yeah, you can work out. All right, getting my lashes on the edges. There we go. And I'm going, going to, I don't ever curl my lashes. I'm going to put a little bit on the outer edge right there. If you want to commit even more to the green, you can put a little green right here underneath and that will like really green it all up. But for me, this is plenty of green <laughs> for today. But keep that in mind too. If you're like going all out, like, you know, you're celebrating St. Patrick's Day or something like that, then you could put way more green in there or a sports team that you love or whatever. All right, there's our eyeshadow look today. Pretty fun, eh? You guys like it? And so I'm going to use Bella Bronzer now because I literally can't get ready without it. You guys know that. I put a little bit of that Bella Bronzer up on my forehead where the sun would naturally hit if there were sun instead of five inches of snow outside and up here on my cheekbones and see how I put that bronzer over top of my, like the line where my contour was and it almost just like blends the two together. So that's why I wasn't super concerned about having a line still there because they work together to just kind of create that extra dimension and it softens that up. So the Bella bronzer is totally different than the contour. You can see the contour is way more solid. The Bella just is a warm glow. And so it helps to blend things together and stuff, but it really is just there to give you a soft, warm glow. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose here, my chin and my neck to tie it all together. There. And now I'm going to do sandstone. It's one of my very favorite blushes. It's this color. It's like a deep rusty red right there. Mommy. And I, ooh, careful baby. What's up? Okay. And I pop my cheeks out and put a little bit on my cheek here. Really softly. And see how that just basically blended itself in. So I feel like a lot of people try and put blush on with their cheek relaxed. 
and you end up kind of getting it everywhere and not really knowing where to blend it. But if you pop your cheek out like this, then it like is the only part that you need to worry about. So you just start on that part that's sticking out and then you can relax and really go like bigger and blend it out from there. But you'll know like exactly the placement if you just pop your cheeks out. You ordered that in Plum, mmm, good choices. Okay, there we go. Okay, you can go get your blanket. One to go on that. Okay, you can go get it. All right, last step. Well, kind of, we still have illuminator on our cheeks, but I am going to line my lips. Okay, sorry that wasn't blended very well. That's what I get for not having a perfecter sponge. <laughs> like when I try and talk to you while I do stuff like this. Which blushes blushes are glossy? Desert Sunset, Ruby, Black Cherry, Petal. And Hollywood has a little bit of like shimmer to it, so it's not a true matte. I think that's it. Desert Sun and Black Cherry are some of my favorites for my lips. I am using Indigo, same contour color that I used on my cheeks to contour my lips. And like I've talked about in all my videos before, I have a big scar right here. So drawing on my Upper lip on the side is always a challenge, but that's why I love this indigo because it just creates like a natural dimension to it that my lips don't naturally have. Okay, see that scar always takes over? There you go. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a really light neutral lip because my eyes are so strong. And so I am going to use this, where did it go? Nope. Okay, this color called Crush, it's from Anastasia. And it's a liquid matte lip color. So I put those together and I think it's just like a nice, you're so talented, good job girlfriend. And so I like to put those together because it's like a really light pink, but neutral still. And then usually I'll throw some bag balm or something under it, but I just got this. Good job, it's for people who are little. I just got this from Sephora, it's called Outrageous and it's their plumping stuff. And this is like, I just, I don't know. I've been trying it out. So I put a little bit of that on and I like a little bit of the gloss to kind of tie in Daddy, what we're doing there. If you want to get back there, you crawl on no heel Okay, can I crawl under there in a minute? Uh -huh. Okay, I'll, I'll be right there. Little, Watch out. I'm coming for you. Really tiny. Literally tiny. Okay, so I'm going to use this new brush too. Best blend forever. And it's really light and so it's great for dusting on this illuminator and I'm just using that goldie again because it just makes you look like you're glowing Mommy, I gotta get back. and like your cheekbones are popping and who doesn't want their cheekbones to be popping all right there we go there it is some green green do I ever get mascara on my nose when I do my lower lashes I have before for sure but let it dry don't touch it while it's wet let it dry and then take this spoolie and scratch it off and it'll be gone and it won't mess up your makeup. So, your baby turns six next week. Happy birthday. One week till glow. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Hey, do you wanna come say hi, babe? Come here. She is the sweetest. She's like my unicorn baby. What color did I use on my brows? Coal, it's an eyeshadow. Oh, 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 careful, babe. Yes, Seductress is a really, really good one. I'm always mom, <laughs> first and foremost. You say hi? Oops, got a belly situation. I got a belly situation, huh? Oof, you were climbing under that fort, huh? What's your name? 
Vivian. Vivian, huh? Yeah. She's the sweetest. I love her. Where do you give um, your email for the give? Oh, the giveaway is just here. Like you just have to comment here and be here and I'll pick from that for you guys. So don't worry about that. And I will pick, I'll give you a little bit of time for the, I don't know where the uh, giveaways are at right now, but I'll give it time to get to more and maybe I'll throw a bonus one in if there's enough. So super cool. Thank you guys, thanks, I'm glad that you love it. She does look like her daddy, literally carbon copy of her daddy. I feel like I look so orange. Okay, it's a little better. See, in like normal or light, I don't look like as like yellow and crazy as I do in this, especially next to her, my little porcelain angel. <laughs> she was a doll. I don't use setting spray usually. I just prefer setting powder. You love the green, thanks. The green I used, was Ivy League right here, and then number 33 here, and then this is Goldie Illuminator, and then this in here, the really powerful like gold, it's called Blondie. So, your four-year-old Livy also loves unicorns. <gasps> what do you think about that? Poor girl. Sure. She got like booger situation. We're just momming over here. She's four. She wanted to show you guys that. Um, also, she has these scratches on her face because Bianca literally clawed her face. <laughs> Bianca's kind of turning into a brood a little bit. When will mascara come out with a reddish eyeshadow? So they have Zion that is like a really nice red. I'll show it to you. Here, go play again. Okay, I will play in my Let me find fort. it. Okay, play in your fort. And they also have, you can use the blushes for your eyes. And so, oh, careful, don't hit this, please. Don't touch it, please. Okay, my so this right here, this reddish color is Zion. It's really, really pretty. So there's that red. And then you can also use the, the blushes for your eyes, which I've shown in videos before, but I can show again. And you can use those. And you could use sandstone or you could use scarlet, which is bright red. But if you put sandstone on your eyelid, it would be this color. Nice and pretty. So they do have reds. Hey, whoa, careful, babe. She's like jumping off the bed. Okay, thanks, guys. All right, I am going to go play with her actively. So just so you guys know, I'm not neglecting her for the video. Her dad is here too. <laughs> she just chose to be in here with me. <laughs> so what colors look good for green eyes? Honestly, all of them. All of them. But for sure, golds, warm browns, like neutrals would be like Philly, Oak, Basic, Baba, all of those solid. And then you could do more like other colors too if you wanted. My skin looks good, thanks. Um, my skincare routine, I actually posted a video about it. I have some in my highlight bubbles on my Insta stories. I have like three rounds of going through my skincare routine on there and I've also posted videos on my Facebook account of my skincare routine, but I use the Trace. I use the Trace Light Chase skincare system from the same link that I put in the description for the makeup. So I'm basically a one-stop shop mascara. So if you need to get any of this stuff, you can reach out to me, you can contact me. I'll color match you if you send me your photo. And yeah. Okay, you guys are awesome. Hi, Andrea. Go play. We're gonna go build a fort. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.